Reunited with Logan after, man, five, six, seven years. Know, it's I been a minute, know. man. We were at House of Blues. Selena Gomez was playing. Yeah, that's right. That's a long, <laughs> that's time, a long time, time ago. Very good. That was a good show, though. That was a great show. Now, to, you just dropped your debut album with a title that's as yeah, long as long. a freak. You want me to help you out with it? Yes, because I'm not even going to try. Echoes of Departure in the Endless Street of Dreams, part one. I got there that part. Woo-hoo! Oh, there we go. Talk to me about this record. Uh, debut album, solo album. Right. What's it like going into the studio by yourself for the very first time? Uh, you know, it's been really kind of freeing and, and nice to kind of get a few things off my chest. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things, the last project, that were not quite geared towards, you know, my vibe and my style. And it's nice to get back to my musical roots and really share with everybody uh, what's been going on. So how did you go about as far as figuring out what your actual sound was coming from you know, working with five different guys. Right, right. I got with, um, you know, my favorite mentors and really kind of took some time off to really just, like, let go of a lot of stuff. And within that time, started building kind of um, what I wanted to see uh, out of my vision as an artist and also as a person. Right. Yeah. Now going into the studio with, with Raz. Raz? Yeah, Ross? Right. How do you say it? Raz. Did he do all seven tracks on the album or, or did you have other it's, producers it's as well? There. He's always kind of had a hand in everything. One of my closest friends and writing partners and, um, you know, we just work really well together. So, um, he's very much a part of this project. Yeah, absolutely. He, he's, um, he's, you know, backbone and a support system for me. Right. So as, you, as you're working, your, as you're writing your songs, you know, how, how much do you feel your songwriting has evolved over the years? Oh, it's completely different. You know, it was very much a different thing years ago, and I, I love it. I've been able to use my imagination, been able to draw from real experiences, and it's just been a blast, man. Out of the seven tracks that are on the record, has there been, is there one particular that was like the biggest challenge for you to, to create? Uh, Evergreen was a tough one. Why is that? Um, you know, I put myself in a position to be vulnerable and kind of open up, and you know how that is. Not always easy to do that, exactly. but I think if you're being truthful and you're able to kind of do that, then you're in the right direction. Nice. Well, the album's out now. Yes, it is. Tour. You're Check doing you're doing some runs right now. I think yeah, you were just we in San Francisco. Yeah, so just going all over the place. And okay. then the next one, we have one in Philly. We have uh, one in New York and D.C. So we're all over the place. And check it on the socials, and you'll see kind of where we're going. Nice. Now, today you performed right outside village. of the village. Absolutely. What was that like for you? Dude, the energy was crazy. The weather was good. Good music, good company. Couldn't ask for anything better.